today I'm swapping out the Kohler hose. This hose right here, it went bad. I had to wire tie it to keep it from spraying everywhere. Uh, in the beginning, as we pushed in the whole hose into the opening, it was leaking from this area here, causing uh, a uh, flood or a leak in the cabinet, which was not a good thing. So I'm swapping it out and I'm just going to do a video on swapping it out. I've never done this before. We'll try it out, see what happens. So the first thing you do is turn off the water source. That's the knobs below the sink. Make sure that the source of water is turned off. For me, uh, it's this and another one that you, I can't show you on video. You can't see it. And that's the main water, one hot, one cold. Turn them both off. Make sure there's no water at all coming out of the spout or the sink then you have to put the knob on the on position at, at both uh, the hot and the cold to relieve any water pressure and get any water out of the actual hose itself so that you don't have any leaks and then the next thing we do is the actual weight does not come with the hose so do not discard the, the weight. That's the weight that pulls it down. And we have to remove it from here, from the... So my wife's gonna pull on the actual hole faucet, pull it down. As I remove that thing there, I'm supposed to push up. I'm supposed to push up, and I don't see it coming out. Let me see what you do. So my wife believes that this white part has to be pushed up, this whole white part, and then you pull down on this at the same time. So I can't hold the camera, I'm just showing you. So I'm gonna pull up on this while with my left hand, while pushing down on this. Be real careful, I don't know about you, but I have copper up here, I'm not gonna mess with that. So again, push up on this while pulling down on this. This is a real world video. I am, they said 10 minutes, I still have not disconnected and it's been half an hour. I'm still trying to figure it out. So I think it might be here. Yeah, Does this nice. play a role in it? Uh, this little piece here. That went down when I was pulling it, but now it's not going down. So, anymore. let me see if I have to pull this down and that, and this. Can you hold this here? So, let me pull down on this, okay? As I'm pulling down, just here, I'll pull up on the actual hold. It, oh, no still will not okay yep it looks like I may have to take the whole thing out because I have absolutely no way of removing this at all all right we gave up on the bottom part of the we just cannot get that loose at all so I'm gonna try another way to get more leverage as it tells me I'm supposed to pull up on this little white area here, this white area here, pull up while pulling down on this, but we don't have enough slack. So I'm gonna actually remove it from the top and pull the holes all the way through to see if that helps in giving us more leverage and pulling on it while I'm pulling up. So we're gonna just remove this first. To remove this, I think you have to turn here. So, can you hold this? Do this at your own risk. I'm an amateur, not a professional. That's not turning. Is it this part? Okay, so it must be this part. Yeah. All right, I would. Okay, so it's this part. Oh, there it is, okay. This is the one that's gonna get replaced anyway, so the other one I'll just hand tighten. Oh, 
Perfect. All right. So now let me just uh, remove the wire ties. So we can bring the holes all the way through. See if that helps. All right. This doesn't fit very well through the opening here. So since we do have the replacement one, we're just going to cut it since we don't need it anyway. Do this at your own risk. I'm an amateur. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm just <laughs> showing you what we're going through and swapping this out, which should have been 10 minutes and it's going to be an hour now. So we ended up cutting it and we're going to feed it through here. And once we feed it through here, we'll see if we get more leverage at the other end. All right. I, I don't want to remove this whole thing. I'm not going to be able to videotape this, but again, pushing up on this white area here. Yeah. while pulling on the other one. I'm not going to be able to videotape. I'm going to use a pair of pliers. A pair of pliers. Again, do this at your own risk. Wow, what a... And uh, I'm just going to pull up while my wife pulls out and see if that works. Let me see if I can just do it with a small amount of pressure. I doubt it. Go ahead. Nothing nothing okay hold on i'm gonna have to do it uh holding it with both hands i can't film this again i'm gonna be pulling up while my wife pulls down okay two seconds to do that way so what i did was with both my hands i held the pliers up here surrounding the whole area the white area the whole white area around let me get the hose can you hold this up for me no the hose so as she was what I did was I put the actual pliers let me get a close-up so while my just yeah, show this part okay just leave it uh, put it right in there okay okay so then I took the pliers I held it up with both my hands uh, you know I was able to to gave the pliers leverage and push up i was pushing up gently not too hard but with both hands and as i was doing that my wife pulled it right out and twisted a little bit to get better leverage okay she said twist a little bit too and it came right out it really did so that way worked i did not want to remove the whole unit i just did not want to do that so if you're sure that the replacement one that you have will work you could try my way which was cut the end bring it down and it gave us a lot more leverage because it also took the weight off that little bit off. yeah the leverage and the weight when we cut it and we fed it through here and came out the other way my wife had a better handle on the hose instead of the weight and the twisting um, so I was able to do it with the pliers and pull it out you could try it with the pliers first before you do what we did, which is a no return. <laughs> uh, there's nothing we can do in regards to, you know, let's say that the replacement we have is no good. That would be, uh, you can't go back now. So uh, if you're sure the replacement's good and you want to try it that way if, and see if it works, it worked for us. Um, but you could also try the play pliers beforehand i didn't think of the pliers until after i cut this i didn't think of it at all don't squeeze on the pliers just pull up on the pliers push. wrap yeah push up on the pliers just gently wrap around and put the force up on the pliers and it came right out so it might just come out with the pliers that way if you have my connection without having to do what we did uh but if it doesn't um then i don't know i guess try this but again i'm i'm an amateur so let's try to see if we could put everything back easier than it took us uh to put in i like the, the area that i put the weight the last time so i'm going to keep it in the same area now because i have to feed the new one through this opening here i'm not going to put the weight on yet until i get it to the bottom what I'll do is I'll get an idea of where it goes and I'll mark it. So I'm gonna measure it by visually and by physically putting them next to each other 
and actually put that on here or actually put a piece of tape on it so I just marked it with plumber's tape just so that it gives me a visual as to where this piece goes this is going to be the piece that's going to hold the weight uh, from sliding out all the way down oh I'm sorry actually preventing the holes from completely coming out is that correct oh uh, yeah yeah that's the idea uh behind it or is it just a leverage thing anyway i have no idea <laughs> I'm I think it's both. it might be a leverage thing and to keep the holes from completely coming out and this is where i'll put the uh the, I guess the stopper for the weight because the weight will go on this side over here and I don't want to figure out where where it's best I'll just follow the old hose so we first connect the new hose It's just hand tightening mm -hmm. okay and this is the actual nozzle itself just in case you i don't know if i showed it earlier well, this is thread and wrench tightening but i'm not sure i really want to wrench it too much because i don't want to yeah i don't want to scratch that too much the chrome part so now we're gonna feed the other end through, right? We're gonna feed this end, and this is the way it looks. Our piece right here, just in case you're wondering how that looks. And it's the same as the other one, correct? Yes. Okay. As we were sliding this in here there was a lot of resistance it took about, it like about a, five or ten minutes about five minutes it was like a clicking around here and then like a third second click around here so we, we couldn't something. yeah we couldn't get um where, so you have to show. like put, put, we like, couldn't get force. yeah we couldn't get this piece in nicely we just kept working it i tried it then my wife tried it then i tried it then my wife tried it and she finally succeeded and it finally went all the way in uh, don't be discouraged it, we couldn't get it in at all so we just kept pulling out gently trying to go in out in out in no, out. I just put you push you put force it, yeah. my wife put force on it and as she and placed it force it clicked and she heard a click I guess it clicked in this turn right here and clicked somewhere else down here and it went all the way through so uh, don't just keep trying it and it will make it through so now we just place the weight inside. We just put the weight through. It doesn't matter what direction you put the weight in. And I have my little tape that just barely hanging on. And now we're gonna put the weight stopper through. This thing here, this will slide right in. And there's a uh, pair of, um, I'm sorry, uh, wire ties that you're gonna use one wire tie. One wire tie. You're gonna use to keep it in place. So let's do that. So now the wire tie is holding the weight. Uh, what's it called? Weight stopper. Weight stop. Weight stop. And uh, let's put it in now. So let's see how hard or easy it is to put it. I'm gonna try it with one hand. But first, uh, you know what? Yeah. I think you just uh, push it in now. So now we just push it in, right? Yeah, I'll tell you, it clicks into place all the way in. And it's in. That was really easy. Awesome. Uh, yeah, okay. Can you try pulling it out and pulling it in? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Okay, now let me run the water. Let me put it on. Put both of them up. Do we have hot ankles? Oh, 
awesome. Not leaking at all. I don't feel any water. Awesome. <laughs> so it was working just fine. Awesome. It's great to have this replaced. It was a headache having the, uh, we tried um, Gorilla, was it Gorilla? I forget, some kind of super duper tape, but it didn't work. And I explained in the video because it, it's because there's two layers to this hose. There's the outer protective layer and the inner rubber layer. And I only, the, I, it only bandaged the outer layer, but it didn't repair the inner layer to inside the hose. But it works and I hope that, um, again, with the pair of vice grips, I mean uh, pliers, I'm sorry, pliers, gently. I'm no expert, but try that way. Maybe that will work and you don't have to go through the headache or the almost headache we had because we actually were able to get it done. And I'd say have two people uh, while you're doing it uh, and follow the instructions. Don't mix anything up because you're gonna have to undo anything you do if you make a mistake in the instructions. I'll have the instructions at the end. So if you, know, you need that, you can wait. It's a slideshow, you'll be able to see that. Uh, but again, the pair pliers work just fine. Putting it back on, not an issue at all. Well, I hope this video helps. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Oh, and... If anybody wants to see what it looks like inside. If you want to see what it looks like inside. Looks like what my wife said. So this is the area that covers... This is what I was explaining to you when mm -hmm. we were putting the tape on. I was hoping that it was all one piece, but it wasn't. It turned out that it was a hose inner and an outer. Sort of like a tire. So and this a, covers like this? Yeah, it's like Completely. a... Completely, and then you can see exposed what it's yeah. like. It's just plastic, like it's a really plastic, hard right? plastic. Mm -hmm. It's a hard plastic. I thought it would be rubber. It's like corrugated. Okay. Though. So, uh, it's just like a tire on a car. I mean, on a bicycle. Because cars don't have any tubes anymore. So, it's just like a tire on a bicycle with an inner tube. Same idea. This is the tire, outer part, and the inner tube, inner part. It's plastic. Interesting. All right. Just in case you wanted to know that. Thank you for watching. Bye.